What's going on, smart people? One final exam down. I'm a third of the way through finals, two left to go. That's how fractions work. As I mentioned before, today was my math methods final. Five questions, choose four to do. It seemed like every single question had a little trick to it, but it was still extremely fair. I think it went pretty well. The first question was a surface integral problem. The trick to it was recognizing that it would be much easier to use divergence theorem and integrate over the three space. Uh, the second problem was integrating a cosine function times a delta function where they stuffed a whole bunch of shit in that delta function. So you had to know how to change or how to integrate over a delta function if it's not as simple as just x minus a. Uh, and then the next problem after that was a Green's function problem where you were given some density, you had to construct the Green's function, show that it satisfied a differential equation. That looked like a lot of work. That's the one that I did not do. I opted out of that one. The following question was a contour integral problem where you just had to basically just use residue theorem. It was pretty straightforward. It was just really tedious. And then the final problem, we were given some basis and asked to construct the components of the metric tensor. And then after that, we were supposed to use our components of the metric tensor to construct components of the Christoffel symbols, which again was pretty straightforward. The trick to that one is Christoffel symbols have three indices going from one to three. So that is 27 components. And you could have gone through, you could have brute forced your way through the problem and then realized that 24 of those components were zero. Or you could have exploited the symmetry of the metric that we had, realized that it was symmetric, and it came out pretty easy so that you didn't actually have to go through all 27 components. You could just argue that the other 24 are zero. It's kind of funny how yesterday I was talking about how I was more comfortable with Green's functions and tensors than I was with, like, complex analysis, but here I am opting out of the Green's function problem to do the complex one. Granted, it just it looked easier, like what can I say? But that is a wrap on math methods. Today is Monday, I have two more exams this week. I have one on Wednesday for quantum mechanics and one on Thursday for classical mechanics. And here's, here's the strategy. I'm gonna spend the rest of today studying for classical mechanics. I know it's coming after quantum, but I think it's gonna be harder. So today is classical mechanics. Tomorrow is all quantum. The day after is when I take my quantum exam. Afterwards, I'll study more for classical mechanics. So then Thursday, take the classical mechanics final. That'll finish up finals. The rest of that day, I'll work on quantum mechanics homework that is due on Friday, which is extra credit, which is nice. <sighs> so when Friday comes around, I'll finally get to take a nice deep breath. And then it's just a waiting game to see if I got into the PhD program. But if I get in, it's just smooth sailing from there. Except for not really, because there is a qualifying exam for graduate students on January 19th. So then if I get in, I will immediately be tested on if I can stay. I am just going to take it one step at a time, but I'm gonna get to studying for classical mechanics now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you did, and I'll see you guys there.